Great. Now that we have an animation inside Unreal Engine, maybe we can, we're going to want something like, well, we need to fix a little bit of poke through here on her top, I guess. But we also may want her face to pull something like an ah as she kicks. So let's see how we can transfer expressions over from Dash Studio to Unreal Engine and then how to trigger them in the character during the animation. Let's see how to do that. So first of all, expressions, they're a little bit tricky to describe and I might have to tell you more than you actually want to know, but that is uh, so that you understand why this happens uh, the way it happens. So expressions can happen in two ways inside Dash Studio. One is something that's controlled by facial bones in the upper face rig and the other one via a morph target. And the facial bones in the upper rig, you can actually see them if you switch over to the joint editor tool up here and then you can see all these little bones that you can now technically move so all these little tiny guys here those are the things that when moved they will move the vertices in the face but the other ones behave pretty much like a custom character so they literally just shape the vertices with the morph slider and not via bones and it's the latter that are easier and more accurate to bring into unreal engine so unreal engine works with morph targets natively and it doesn't always understand every nuance of every facial bone that you send over so for that reason i recommend that you transfer them over into morph dials rather than use expressions that are generated from face bones you can try face bones but they may not look absolutely accurately as they do look in um, that studio so if you go to power pose you can actually go and see what they do if you hit over to the face and then you head over to the actual face rig then you see each of these blue little dots that pulls a muscle so if you go and bring that over then you can see that this bone adjusts that uh, eyebrow for example and this bone adjusts the nose so you can play with those but as i said they might not accurately come into unreal engine you might also not be able to tell what is a facial expression generated with this versus a morph slider there used to be more morph expressions back in the day with genesis and genesis 2 but since genesis 3 we have that upper face rig and this is what creators now use mostly but not exclusively so uh, let me go and dial something in that might work maybe something from the jinx cdi pirate poses that kind of looks interesting does it look angry enough does it look like her and that could that could work or maybe something like this like you know her that is kind of nice this is a good example so this is a little bit too strong so i think what i would do here is i would use um, puppeteer and just put a dot on here then you go and dial this in put that here head over to preview and say maybe we're going to have that somewhere in the middle so maybe like this and you can go and refine the pole so you know this this is this is a good enough uh, facial expression for me so this is what i'd like to transfer into unreal engine so the easiest and safest way to do this is to export my character out as an obj and import that in as a new expression morph so to say so let's go and do that with my top character here selected let's go file export and then i'll just pop it on the desktop here and i'll call it like a fair angry obj so i'm going to use uh one percent scale that's the modo scale just because you know it's dialed up uh, most importantly over here under filter objects i'm going to enable that and make sure it says selected roots and that is what i'll choose hit accept and then that's exported an obj i'll hit Control shift f to bring my character back into the a pose that takes a little second and also to have her without the expression and now I'm going to go and import this as a single morph slider with Morph Loader Pro. So under Edit Object Morph Loader Pro, under Preset I'll pick None, choose the morph file. So this is going to be on my desktop, the Thea Angry. And that should be almost everything except for reverse deformations that needs to be set to yes because i'm using a custom character otherwise it's going to look terrible and also the scale needs to be the same so now that's happened under parameters under morphs i've got they are angry there we go now i can dial this up as a morph and this is important because this is now not using the upper face rig anymore this is now just a morph target and this is also the morph that i want to bring into unreal engine so you can usually see these if you open up the skeletal mesh here 
can use our preview animation asset again here. Up here, you have a tab that's called Morph Targets. And I currently don't have anything because I haven't sent that over with my skeletal mesh. So let's go and make that happen. On my character, let's head over to File, Send to Das to Unreal. And then here we have a tick box that says Export Morphs. So I'm going to go and call the character the same thing. So Thea, whoops. <laughs> 81, just like my previous character was called. It's also a skeletal mesh. That's exactly what I want. And then under morphs, I'll enable that. And then here I'll go and choose the morphs. So this is a bit of a scary window. This list on the left hand side shows me everything that's available. If I select the top character, then I see this whole list of every single morph that's in there. So most of these are not expressions. They're just, you know, other things like adjustment morphs usually and corrective morphs. So if in the filter box, if I search for angle Angry, then I should find, well, there's one that's called Angry, but there's also Thea Angry, and that's the one that I've just brought over. But since there's another one Angry, I might just go and select both of them and then hit Add for Export, and then they both appear on the right-hand side. Uh, signature Smile, that one, I'm going to go and remove that. There we go. So these are the two that are now going to appear inside Unreal Engine. So I'll hit Accept, and now I'll go and hit uh, Accept again, and that'll send this character over and re-import her again in, uh, in Unreal Engine, but now with the expression morphs. Okay, she's re-arrived. I'll go and open her up. Sadly, her materials have been replaced. I'll go and pick my face forward pose again. There we go. And now I can also see that I've got the two morph sliders that I can now go and play with inside Unreal Engine. And there we have it. The sliders behave exactly like they did in Das Studio. So perfect, exactly what we had expected. Also work negatively, so <laughs> make sure you don't use that. And then we have the angry expression. This is the one, I didn't actually do that, but we can also combine them with one another, much like we can do in Das Studio. So if you had multiple morphs, you can fire them off all at the same time. Now, the thing is here in this thing is called persona here. This when you open a skeletal mesh up, this is where they are accessible. But that is no good because the moment you go back into here, you will not uh, find them here. If you go and select the character, there's no morph sliders here on the front facing thing in the viewport. So for that, you have to go and actually animate them with your animation sequence. And we're going to have a look at that in another video.